Today, I'm gonna to talk about running doubles as a non-elite runner. Ten point one five miles total running for the day across my morning and evening runs, about nine minutes forty seconds per mile for both of those runs, and about one hundred and thirty eight beats per minute in terms of my average heart rate. And lately I've been running a lot of doubles. And for those of you who aren't familiar, doubles are just when you have two runs in one day instead of one run in a day. And even just a year ago, the idea of running doubles seemed a little bit foreign and unnecessary. And something that only like elite runners or someone who's training as like a full-time job, uh, like a professional runner would really do. But the more I think about it, the more I think that running doubles makes even more sense for non-elites, people who are training for a hobby or training because they enjoy running, uh, whether it's for a race or even not for a race, just to run and get those miles in. Uh, because of the fact that we have different scheduling demands. Uh, we have jobs that we have to go to. We have families that we uh, also want to spend time with. Not that pro athletes don't have families or not that a lot of pro athletes don't have other jobs. But for those of us who don't have running as part of our career, I think running doubles makes just absolutely much more sense. Now, my, my personal theory is for, for non-elites, um, being able to do all of your running at once, just one time a day versus two times a day is probably the better way to go about things. But I think running doubles makes sense from a practical perspective. Like for me, for example, for this marathon training block that I've put together, high mileage is the core feature, but there's only so much time that I have in the day to run. I normally like to run in the mornings, but I'm already up at four o'clock in the mornings trying to get these videos made um, and also to get my runs in in the morning. I think a lot of people who are starting to train a little bit more intensely as non-elite runners uh, are kind of doing the same thing. I was listening to Lindsay Hines' podcast and she interviewed Sinead Diver recently, um, a marathoner. Uh, from Ireland who runs for Australia. She's been living in Australia for just about the last two decades. And she was saying that once she started getting a little bit more serious into running, she didn't want it or wanted to minimize the impact on her family and work time as much as possible. She, so she found herself getting up earlier and earlier in the mornings as well. So I think this is pretty common for a lot of runners who are starting to add up mileage for their marathon training or just for their running in general. Uh, and I think that at a certain point, if you want to run even more mileage, you're going to start running doubles. Um, and uh, for me, there's a couple of other reasons why the double just makes a lot more sense and uh, splitting up that run. In addition to just not being able to have a, an extra hour and a half or just an hour and a half every day that I'd like to be able to devote to running in the morning, there's just isn't enough time there. Uh, it's almost winter time now, or it was winter for a little bit here in Chicago. We had a bit of a really early start to it. Uh, things are a little bit more seasonable now, but it's going to get cold again real soon. 
which uh, there's a certain point in the winter where I just don't like being outside for more than an hour, no matter how warm I am. I just feel like it's uh, you start to run some risks of uh, getting into trouble. And so uh, if I want to run about an hour and a half to two hours a day, but I can only be out there an hour at a time, I naturally have to split that up. The other thing is daylight. Uh, there's not a lot of daylight in the winter time. And so uh, I don't really like running um, an hour and a half at a time in the morning when it's completely dark the entire time. And also when it's dark in the winter, that's also the coldest time of the day. And again, I'm concerned about too much cold exposure. Uh, the last thing that kind of makes doubles make a lot of sense for me and kind of what I've been talking about the entire time, but to put a more specific fine point to it is schedule. I have some very like hard limits to my schedule. Those being, uh, I like to take the kids to school and I really like to pick up the kids from school as well. And so um, I can only devote so much time in the morning and that's why I like the wake up time is keeps getting pushed earlier and earlier is because at a certain point, my wife usually gets their girls ready for school, but I'm the one that takes them. Um, I try to help out with the getting ready as well, uh, but I'm usually getting like myself ready. My wife works from home, so uh, she has a little bit more flexibility in her schedule in the mornings, um, but I like to take the girls to school and then from when I drop them off, then commute to work, whether that's by train and bus or these days, by running. So I've been really enjoying doing the running because the morning commute usually takes me about 30 minutes, um, give or take. Uh, and I'm at the mercy of the CTA, Chicago Transit Authority, which is an interesting experience uh, to deal with on a regular basis, especially during the winters. But uh, run commuting, if I take, there's a little bit of a more direct route that I can take, a couple of more surface streets that I got to run down, uh, then when I run just on the lakefront path. But that gives me about a five mile and change run, which uh, these days is a little bit slower. So it takes about 50 minutes to uh, an, an hour, or I try to kind of like think of it as an hour of time. So it's a little bit of extra time in the morning uh, in terms of my commuting time, which is difficult as well because sometimes I have very hard deadlines or places that I need to be very early in the morning. And so sometimes I can't always do that morning commute or I need my wife to take their girls to school on, on certain days. So that happens, but it's uh, for an extra, the way I see the kind of the, the math of it is for an extra half hour of time that I have to invest somewhere, I'm getting an hour's worth of running. So I feel like there's good bang for the buck there. And then in the afternoons as well, um, same thing. The afternoon commutes always seem to take longer for some reason. And so uh, I usually kind of estimate about 30 to 45 minutes for my commutes to go get the girls and then bring them home. And so if I, I then take a little bit of a longer route home, just taking the lakefront trail to, to get home, which is what I prefer. It's by the water almost the entire time. There's almost zero stoplights that I have to go through. So I'm away from cars. That route is a little bit more than six miles. So if I do that, I've got, uh, if I just run commute, I've already got 11 miles uh, on any given day. And so uh, the additional time that it would take me, 45 minutes is what the commute would take me by train or by bus, or I mean by both. And then uh, it usually takes me about an hour and 10 minutes to do that run, or that's kind of what I budget. So again, another 25 or 30 minute investment of time gets me six hour, six miles worth of uh, running. And so I feel like it's a really kind of efficient investment. Not that that's the only math that's going into it, but it makes me feel good that not only am I not using vehicles to commute, but I'm also getting uh, in my miles that I need to get in uh, and uh, I'm maximizing the use of my time. But also I just hate commuting, um, whether it's by car uh, that I'm driving myself or by public transportation, I just detest it. And so I feel like I can switch something that I really dislike with something that I love. And so that's for me, the best part about run commuting. Now it has some of its difficulties. It's not something that I could usually do during the summer because it's just so hot. I don't want to arrive to work super sweaty. Although I do have access to a gym uh, downtown. I signed up for a gym uh, a little while, several months ago. Uh, I think over the summer is when I signed up for it just because again, to keep my uh, day flexible, if I needed to get in a run during like the middle of the day, for some reason I have, um, kind of a place where I could do it either on a treadmill or just run around downtown and then shower afterwards. So I have access to that. But in the winter time, 
um, you know, and with this low heart rate training, I don't find myself being all that gross by the time I get to work. But in the summertime, if I'm even just run competing home, which is sometimes that's what I'll do as well. But by the time I go to get to pick up the girls, if I'm dripping in sweat, it's really kind of a weird look for to be that super weird dad that ran to school and is now dripping sweat all over the place. So I don't really run commute too much in the summertime, but then again, in the summer, there's more daylight. I'm not as worried, worried about temperature exposures. So I can tr usually kind of fit most of the running in in just the morning. For the wintertime, running doubles just makes a lot more sense. For me, it's the only way that I can get in all these miles. Now, a, a lot of people I think are concerned about like, well, is it breaking up the run too much or breaking up your miles too much? Like for example, like what if I ran like quadruples and ran like four times in one day, would that be the same as running one like good run in, in a day? Um, I think there's a point of diminishing returns, of course, but I think that um, if you're finding that you're having a hard time getting in your mileage, try running doubles and split it up. I think that if you're out there and running for at least half an hour for each session, I think it's probably worth it. But I don't think I would try to regularly plan to break it up, say, but like to have like a 15 minute run and then an hour long run later. Um, I would try to just make that second run an hour and 15 minutes. The other kind of underlying presumption to all of that is that you're running in a way that your legs can handle that much uh, running. Sleep is becoming more important, I'm realizing, uh, when you're kind of running this way. And so those are some of the things that you have to also tweak. When you're running doubles because of scheduling issues, um, finding time for more sleep is also usually really hard to do. Uh, I understand that and it's been hard for me as well, but I'm just trying to figure it out, trying to get into it. But um, so far these past two weeks running doubles, I've just really, really enjoyed it. The miles are really racking up. Uh, I ran an 80 mile week last week, which was the highest mileage that I've ever run. Um, I think I'm gonna be running a second 80 mile week, although I wasn't planning on running this much. Just running the doubles, you kind of just end up getting to higher mileage in a way that's a little bit easier on the body, or at least that I would think. I think that the other part of it is if I were running uh, in a way that wasn't as easy on the body as the current way I'm running. So I'm running a lot of low heart rate miles or all low heart rate miles for now. And so that makes it a little bit easier to, to run these doubles so consecutively. Uh, and when you run doubles, you don't have to run doubles like every day during the week or even regularly. You can do it once in a while. Um, just to give you that extra bump in mileage if you need those extra miles. And so with the way I'm doing it, all my miles are relatively easy on the body so I can do it regularly. Um, but I think if you're running a lot more moderate miles or running a lot of hard miles, then maybe you don't run doubles every day or even most days or even a lot of days. But on certain days, um, the double might make sense. So like my Tuesdays, for example, I call it a double, but it's not really. In the mornings, I'll hit the gym. And then in the afternoon, I'll run home just to give my body two different stimuli to work with an experience. And then Wednesday and Thursday are usually my double days, I think, are going to work out for me in my schedule. Friday is kind of a tough day for me. Fridays are always my busiest day schedule-wise, so I don't know if I'll, that'll happen. And then Mondays, a lot of it's going to depend on how much I ran on the weekend and how my legs are feeling on Monday if I, if I do that. So um, that's my take on running doubles. Uh, I'm not an expert on it but it's something that works for me. I think it's, if you're a non-elite runner and you still have a job and a lot of other demands on your schedule, uh, but still wanna run a high mileage marathon training block, or you just wanna build base with high mileage, I think it's really something that you should consider adding in. I wouldn't go from like couch to doubles, but if you're already running regularly five, six, or maybe even seven days a week, uh, and are looking for a way to get in even more miles, uh, but are having a hard time finding the time. Um, I, I think that running doubles is a great way to do it. I think more people should give it a shot. Uh, I think more people should also be run commuting. If you can't, I know a lot of people don't live that close to their, their places that they work where that's an option. I totally understand that. Um, but if you do, um, I've really been, I've loved run commuting over the past couple of years. I'm finding that I'm loving it more and more the more that I do it. And so um, definitely one of my favorite ways to get in just a bunch of miles. So that's all I have to say about running doubles as a non-elite runner. If you have any questions about it, 
feel free to put them in the comments or if you are running doubles, even every once in a while, I'd love to hear about how you're doing it and kind of why you started getting to that point in the comments down below. Uh, before I go, I want to remind you guys about the charity runner for this week. This week it's Gavin May running in the Memphis Marathon weekend and raising money for St. Jude. I was happy to donate $70 to Gavin's fundraising efforts and I'll post a link in the description in case you'd like to learn more. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video and I will see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?